uh, for the next set I'm going to highlight make sure that I am on the same layer that I'm going to do this on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control T and then we can warp, we can distort perspective, we can skew, rotate, so let's uh, mess around with a few elements here. Let's mess around with perspective, uh, let's uh, distort, let's see what that, that could do. And again, I'm playing with shape, I'm playing with form, uh, I'm trying to kind of change things around so it doesn't look like what it used to. Uh, and let's play with warp, warp is really cool, you can really push the elements here. The more realistic your design is, the less you are going to exaggerate your silhouette. So here is my shape and then uh, I'm just gonna go in and begin painting. So I really pushed the roof and I changed the overall shape of the building and now I'm just gonna go in and start subtracting and adding various elements. So by just messing around with the overall shape using the transformation tool. Let's marquee select this again and Control T and let's warp it a few more times. So we changed the shape and then added a few elements and then we're changing the shape again. Let's deselect and we can continue painting this in. Let's uh, let's actually get rid of this. For this one, let's do a little something different again. I'm going to uh, increase this in size. Uh, make it a little different here and for this I'm going to use a liquify filter it's another great tool so go on the filter make sure that you have the layer selected that you want to work on and then you go liquify shift control X so here we have uh, we're inside the liquify filter tool and here I'm just I usually just use the first one the uh, Ford warp tool but you can uh, experiment with the rest of them you can liquefy the shapes that you have on your canvas. So I'm going to increase my brush and I'm just going to start pushing. And uh, you can pull, you can push, and you can really modify the shape of your silhouette. And uh, this gives you another control of how you want your shapes to be. Uh, we can go back to the old one here and uh, really change and give it a different line quality push the shape, push the line quality, just push the overall form uh, down, maybe here, increase it. And uh, let's change this one a bit. And uh, let's keep this one a little more uh, realistic. And, and again, you can explore some of these other ones and for this one I don't want to do that but uh, you can just kind of warp and by randomly uh, going over some of these shapes it really changes them and uh, just suggests new things that you wouldn't think of. The blow tool we can blow things up. Here's the pucker tool. So you can really play around with this and just uh, give it a new dimension. So let's click OK and here we are. So let's turn on the first layer so here we have original painted in uh, more modified then we have a more little crazy exaggerated shape of the cottage uh, then we have even more crazier which I'm not really sure what this could be uh, but just completely changes the original shape and then we have uh, a little more different it looks like a two-story cottage uh, now it looks more like a house and let's do our third and final row and let's take one of these and let's uh, reverse it so it's a little different make sure that you have the layer selected transform selection and I'm going to flip horizontal so here we have our three last silhouettes uh, let's move them down a bit let's deselect the top one so the first one I want to keep it uh, more realistic but I do want to push certain elements, maybe a few uh, boards sticking out here and there. Uh, just kind of change up the uh, a little bit, not too much. Maybe add a chimney here. Uh, let's add a few boards here. And again, let's uh, look at 
this we have a few boards sticking out here we have a our overhang that's almost kind of falling down so let's do that here maybe so now I'm kind of it's more of a deliberate choice that I'm doing here instead of painting random shapes now I am just more focused on um, paying attention to the reference and just kind of adding a few elements here and there a few boards wooden planks kind of painting a few things in let's add a little border a little board on top here uh, maybe here as well maybe a little bit bigger kind of looking back uh, I'm doing something like this here uh, let's do a uh, chimney and let's subtract certain elements like it's broken up here with a tiny roof here so maybe I need to do just uh, take this control T and just extend it so now we have a more realistic silhouette painted in with uh, some chimneys here and just a little more design elements so the second one let's uh, do something different here and see uh, I'm spending maybe I spent three minutes on this for this one I'm just gonna kinda push the design maybe let's switch up the brushes uh, let's see what we have let's change a few things up now we have a brush that has a little edges to it now we can just play around with some of these edges now let's delete and erase some of these and I'm gonna decrease my brush so I'm here I'm really going back and forth playing around with adding shapes adding more uh, suggested detail again this is going more on the realistic side so let's uh, change this up let's play around with a warp tool let's go to warp and let's push this bottom out and uh, let's push this bottom out as well and for the last one uh, I'm gonna do something really different as well I'm going to take this shape I'm gonna control C control V so it's on a new layer I pasted I copied and pasted and now I have this shape I'm just going to take this and see what I can come up with by just uh, going on top of it by doing that we have few negative shapes right in here and it's already suggesting possible uh, some kind of a hallway maybe a few columns uh, let's do that uh, let's grab another one let's grab maybe this one it has a lot of uh, various inner outer shapes so I'm gonna select this control C V now we have this layer uh, maybe modify it oh now it's a little more interesting it's uh, almost uh, looks like a really old destroyed uh, building so here we have this building and it's a lot different than uh, any previous ones so let me turn everything back on so here we have our original shape that we started with uh, and then by duplicating and going through and just playing around with shapes forms adding and subtracting uh, we began moving on from one silhouette to another and you can see that uh, the first silhouette is usually where, where your bad ideas are you just kinda you know um, get rid of some of the elements that you may not want to use and it just kinda opens you up to explore so a third shape is a little bit more interesting fourth it's really crazy uh, not really liking this so much but uh, it has potential in curved shapes um, this one and you know we went a little completely nuts but we played with the liquify filter um, and then the fourth one and the fifth one so and with each one there's a little more interest in each silhouette so after you are done going through you can pick out your best silhouette and use the silhouette as a start enough point for a concept art piece by defining the details and start painting in the various elements or you can just use the silhouette as a start enough point on your modeling so the silhouette design is an extremely powerful tool 
to begin designing environments.